Right, here we are at the end of the week. My week actually started yesterday. I did a little 8k uh, locally, nothing too fancy. Tonight out with the Guildford Trail Runners. With Ben doing some early mileage and we'll do some mileage after the group run. So there it is. Healers Corner. Beautiful place to go for a run. Or a quad bike. Or, ride. or a quad bike. A little behind the scenes. Ben set up a shot over there. So we're about 11k in. Um, we did 8.5k eight, eight before the session began, so quite a big one tonight, I think, for me. But it's good fun to be out again. End of the session, Gilbert Trail Runners. Uh, I've got about 20k already. I've got to run home, so big effort today. Big effort for me. Feeling suitably knackered, not even home yet. Put the overlay up here. All right, long run day today. Now, I'm away for the weekend. When you see this, I'm actually back already, but today's Friday, and I'm aiming to get close to marathon distance. So it's an out and back route. Yeah, roughly 20k out, 20k back. I don't actually need to do marathon distance because I've got North Downs Ridge coming up a few weeks time. But uh, just want to get some solid miles in up on the trails. So I've got my pack fully loaded, all the gear, leads of tailwind, 500 minute water, lift bars, univer gels, and up here. A pocket full of salt tabs that make it look like I'm getting onto the plane maybe. So it's gonna be a long day out. But let's have some fun. Just picking up the North Downs way now, so there's 6k in, just by St Catharines, running across this bridge here. On the day this will represent about 16 kilometres. So roughly fifth of the route complete at this point. Um feeling a little bit lethargic, I must admit. Bit of a slog having to really drag myself along so not that I was trying to run to pace because it's about time on feet today but I definitely don't feel particularly nimble or swift so certainly not a, a long pace day there we are charge wood there we go the home of the Guildford Trail Runners so let the climb and commence I don't think I've introduced you to a new guest today just down there. So they are my Speedgoat Fours. They are the um, race day edition. So they are half size up as always, but uh, wide fit. Just allows my toes chance to expand. And uh, with the heat of the day, typically that will happen. Today it's 10 degrees. It could be anything in the day. 15 to 30. It's May, mid-May, but it is England, so. It's just a complete gamble as to what it'll be. But did a bit of walking them yesterday, the day before. So today's our first proper run outing. And uh, yeah, I'm just making sure that they are comfortable and bedded in enough before race day. So they'll come with me on the North Downs Way 50, 50K in a few weeks, and then 50 mile a few weeks after that. Nine and a half K in, up at St. Martha's on the hill. Um, yeah, nice and nice and chilled right now. Bit of walking, bit of talking, bit of jogging. Gonna have some food in a minute. Um, just taking it all in, just trying to enjoy it all. Just trying to also work out the best kind of routes in the day, the potential places to run, the ones that haven't got too many routes. So these little things that you want to be on autopilot for race day, and I'll be thinking about, oh, is it easy to run up the left-hand side or the right-hand side? It's the same path. Just want to make sure you're avoiding routes, especially when you get a little bit tired. I want to make sure that you're fully engaged in the game. So I'm going to show you the view, then we'll zip on to Newland's Corner, pit at number two. Time to take a salt tub now. I always put mine up here near the hydration, so you always remember it. Um, as you can see, a little bit suspect looking. These are the fast shoes. You can get some that you just neck, but I'm not very good at doing that, so 
Oh, I'll come out again. So, trim, zip the little bag up, back in here, ready to come well. I've got peach flavour. So, just taking care of the salts, keep on top of stuff. Now, the actual root is in there. The issue is, um, probably 30, 40 walkers and hikers went past in a single track, so I'm just over here on the road, but um, yeah, that is the actual official path. So, you know, corner, 11k. I'm running pretty slowly, so if anybody's thinking, oh, I couldn't do that, go out for a long one, you can. Just focus on enjoying it. This is not a race. You know, my average pace at the moment is 6.35, that kilometre was 7.43. You know, I'm running for like an hour and 10 minutes. Just enjoy it. Be in the moment, be present. Okay, out in this corner, and you've seen me and heard me talk about this part of the course before, it's a boring part. I've done it quite a few times this training block, and that's for one reason. This is where you can actually make up a bit of time. And last year, I think I was just a bit too, uh, too relaxed about it and just kept at my very sort of you know, calm ultra pace. But this is where you can, if your legs will let you, open up now around this last weekend quick. Um, but that was fresh out the car. Uh, today I'm here at 12k and so we'll see what we can do. But it's just all about testing yourself and getting into that mindset of what you're going to do on the day. You want to slip into autopilot, you want to just run, you don't want to be thinking about anything else apart from one foot in front of the other and the goal in the hand. So I've been on this section now two kilometres, I want to share something with you. My average pace coming into this was 6.32 per kilometre. Running at 5.30 kilometres, so nothing too fast. I've now pushed it down to 6.22 average and that's really significant because if you're working the day to achieving a time based on average pace it's in these moments that you have to push you have to train yourself to go 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 whilst you can give yourself a buffer give yourself an edge give yourself the opportunity later on the race to be a bit more calm relax walk if you need to without the external pressures of keeping to a time so i thought i'd just share that with you this is so boring all right 20k done now turning around uh, about two hours eight minutes and 440 meters of ascent so now i've sort of taken that part out of the equation the first half i'm just going to chill on the way back now um yeah i'm feeling tired don't feel in top shape which is always disappointing on long run you always want to feel sharp and you know when I've got 50 miles ahead of me in not too many weeks it's not the most reassuring thing however every day is different sometimes you wake up and your legs feel phenomenal other days I just don't feel as good so today is one of the days where they don't feel as good they've carried me over the halfway point so now let's head home and yeah, if I can complete today's distance in five hours, that would be great. Again, that gives me time to just walk if I don't feel up to it. The legs are starting to give up. I push on, but I can walk the hills now rather than running them. Kind of safe in the knowledge that I'm heading home rather than heading out. That's when out and back is always really good. You've got no choice now but to head back. Um, I find if you do things like loops, it's really easy just to open the door and walk inside whereas now it's 20k to home however i get there that's the distance it's going to get done today so I'll catch up with you momentarily so i meant to say that over that distance about 8k i took 15 seconds off the average pace and actually I slowed down quite a lot from that point where i spoke to you the first time um, just because look at these views I'm kind of, you know, what am I doing? Running flat out. This is one of the few opportunities I have whilst my family are busy today to have some me time. And this is the first time since I've done my training block, actually, since January that I've had no real constraints on time. There was a guy up here, sat on the bench, just looking at the view, having a sandwich, having some lunch, and 
just think, you know, I love the trails, but why do I do that? Yeah, picnic with a view now the summer's, well, I say summer's here, it's not quiet, but I need to do more of that and more of really appreciate what's around me because it's so easy to just run past it and kind of take it for granted. I know how beautiful it is, but it's just, you know, got on the flash otherwise. This is the issue you have as well. My hope is it'll be cleared on the day, but I very much doubt it. Just navigating, climbing over these trees, obviously, I won't be doing it twice because I'm only going the other way, but it's just slows the progress down and uh, definitely gives your legs a little burn up. No way. Look who it is. Look at this guy. What are you doing? I'm coming to support mate, pacing you for the last bit. Really? Yeah. I'm 27k. Right, now it's time to put your foot down. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Right, little downhill now. Uh, 20. Oh, no. Let's have a look. 20. Oh, it's gone now. It's off the screen, don't I? 520 of climbing though. So on the day, I found North Downs Way. The downhills really got to me. I didn't do enough training on them so this is quite a good opportunity as I'm sort of getting nearer to that 20 mile mark to use the downhills. Uneven underfoot, a bit of a challenge. Okay, bingo. <laughs> ah, second cliff bar destroyed. 31k. Bit of a climb here. And then mostly downhill all the way home. Apart from the little cathedral climb. If I say it, I've got to do it, haven't I? Cathedral climb. I won't edit that out. I'll leave it in. I could go home a cheat way, but I won't. Okay, another downhill from St. Martha's. Approaching 32k, 20 miles. Ben is accompanying me, pacing me, making sure I don't cry. <laughs> Cry or, or get an Uber home. Plans ruined. I've cancelled my Uber now he's turned up. Got us some uh, cool water from the faucet just outside the uh, church up there, which is nice. Holy water and all that. So I've got a spring in my step. Here we go. There's Ben. Hi, Hi Ben. Oh, Thanks man. for joining me. Well, you're doing it, mate. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> Okay, so that was amazing. A real great boost to have been there for the last for about 7k or so, I think. So I'm on 34k, heading home, looking forward to uh, sitting down, to be honest with you. And we're going back over the bridge again. Check us out there. See that hill there, St. Catherine's up on the hill. Um, that's a good test, good little hill climb. And whilst you're not allowed to dive or jump into this water, and despite it looking a little bit murky, it's very inviting right now. I am warm. It's uh, definitely heating up. We're past midday now, and I've been running for three hours, 47. Well, it might be a little bit more for total time. Oh, I nearly slipped. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you at the top of the cathedral, will be the last thing you see from me, and I'll close the video out. See you in a sec. Okay, almost 38 kilometres, 720 something metres of ascent. Now, if anybody's interested in the day, it's 1700 metres of ascent, so still quite a, a way off of what the elevation will be in the legs for me on race day, but I'll put an overlay up now of the final distance and things. Uh, very happy with how today went. Most importantly, the shoes performed. And uh, yeah, like I say, big shout out to Ben for joining me. It made, made a difference. It's a nice pick me up. It really is. So, catch up with you in next week's vlog. Cheers.